tonight we are hearing from a family after a frightening home invasion encounter. It happened early Sunday morning at a home off Clinton Highway. Now, Knoxville police sharing an image with us. Take a look here. They are looking for this man. Now, in the surveillance video that you're going to see, you'll see the suspect walking into the home raising what appears to be a crowbar. This after breaking a window to get in. Six on your side reporter Madison Keevy speaking to the teen who came face to face with the intruder. It's kind of weird. Some random dude, no, no shirt, no shoes, walking in the house. It's crazy. At 16, but really at any age, coming face to face with a home intruder is unexpected and unwelcome. When I look back at it, it's overwhelming. Um, yeah, that's crazy. Don't think Dakota McMillan was scared. He says instead he was focused. My ultimate goal was getting my little sister safe, no matter what. The break in caught on camera. McMillan rewatches security footage of the suspect walking freely around his home, a stolen crowbar in hand. I hear him reaching through the back door, which he had already broke, and reached in and unlocked it, opened up the door. And then at that point, I kind of just talked to him a little bit, trying to, you know, push him out as much as I could. And he was trying to get me to come outside and take pictures of stuff we had in the backyard that I knew that we had. He got the suspect out of the house long enough to take his four-year-old sister to a neighbor's and call 911. Where are my kids? <laughs> I, I immediately went to go look for my daughter and my stepson. Jack Foster says his stepson did everything right, getting out of the house safely and calling 911. He's relieved, too, that security cameras caught it all, installed years ago for a moment like this. Yeah, I was uneasy. It was, it's, it's disturbing to know somebody's been inside your house that doesn't belong there. McMillan says he's still thinking about the what ifs. What if I would have walked around the corner right there when he has the pry bar like that? What if I would have came out of my room right there? Did you ever talk about if someone comes in the house, this is what you do? No, she never had the, the talk, really. I just. I mean, I learned over the years, you know, just do what you can to protect others around you and yourself. So that's pretty much what I did. In Knoxville, Madison Keeney, WATE6 on your side. All right, thank you, Madison. You know, anyone with any information that can help investigators is asked to call the Knoxville Police Department's crime hotline. The number, it's on your screen, 865-215-7212. And we do want to remind you, callers can remain anonymous.